Trailblazer episode 13. We were previously at top 25 in the game until our unfortunate armadal grind. Since then, we have fallen all the way to around rank 200. But it's time for that to change and it's time for me to make my climb back to the top. We start today's video with 38,000 points. Let's see where we can get to. I wanted to complete all the elite diaries today as they are worth 250 points, which means I had to get level 5 all in Barbarian Assault. I needed to do Barbarian Assault anyway because I also needed a torso, which is some points, and I needed the ability to buy a granite body, which is used for one of the tasks. So one of the tasks actually within Barbarian Assault is casting a Surge spell. Now I didn't think I could do this because you need Wrath Runes, and I assumed I would need Fremenic or whatever you need for DS2 to do it, but in BA you actually get Wrath Runes, so that's 100 points right there just from casting a Surge spell. Now, that's 100 points I thought I'd never get. All right, I've got the elite task of reaching level five in every Barbarian Assault roll. Now this took hours, but I actually did it legitimately with Maz and some other people, and it also gives us the ability to unlock the Kandarin Elite Diary, which is another 250 points. All right, seven hours later, we've gone level five in all Barbarian Assault roles. Big shout out to Maz, who actually sorted the team for us. Link to his YouTube in the description. He's making vids. He's actually ahead of me now. He has over 40,000 points. Go check him out. But it also means we can get our fighter torso, which is called a penance torso. I actually had no idea that that's what it was called. But there we go. There's our fighter torso. Wield that. And that is... 100 points, 7 hours for 100 points. Obviously we did it for the Elite Diary too so that we can get the Candor and Elite done. We're going to be doing lots of Diaries today because there are lots of points and there are lots of XP. So let's get into it. Okay, apart from that 7 hour or so stint at Barbasol, I've pretty much been AFKing Motherload Mine all day because I need to get all the Prospector outfits for Fally Elite and to do the mole requirements anyway. But it's given us a bunch of ore which we're going to need to use to get around 91 smithing because we have some Diaries to do which is some very high point tasks. We also need to get 91 rune crafting, I think. So a lot of skilling coming up. I think we're gonna leave the mine now, actually get some shit done and train the smithing up. Okay, and that is 86 smithing. Five more levels to go until we can do all the diaries we need to. Okay, and that is 82 rune crafting. I've never really rune crafted on the real game because it is terrible to do, but on this, it's very nice. With the last recall hacks, I basically just come here to the ZMI, teleport back to the GE, and repeat. I need to get 91 rune crafting for all these diaries. I think I'll just get 90 because I'm pretty sure I can get a boost and I want base 90s. And I only, even with even doing this, I really don't want to train rune crafting. So it's going to be a while, but we'll just get to 90 real quick. We have it all banked, I'd imagine. This right here is 90 rune crafting. Honestly, it wasn't even that bad. I'm just a crybaby. Eventually, we do need to go all the way to 99, but we can just boost this for the diaries we need to do. Now we need to get our smithing up to 90 as well. Now the problem is, I have a bunch of coal, and a, or no, I have a bunch of Addy ore, I have a bunch of rune ore, I have a bunch of bars. The issue is actually I have a drought of coal. I only have 200 coal, so I don't, I'm not sure what to do about that. And that is 89 Fletchen, one more level and we're at that base 90 that we need. And then I guess we just need construction, hunter, and prayer. As well as smithing, but we're doing that anyway. And that is 90 Fletching, still got a bunch of hours to go. Okay, so I've been pretty tired the past couple hours, so I've been effectively... AFK my Jad toss. Uh, what is that? That's a mage hit, I think. So basically, I've literally just been AFKing a bunch of fire capes in one inventory. As you can see, I've got three of them. Obviously, I've been banking for restores and stuff like that. But I'm a little bit of a weirdo to the point where I just wanted to stack up as many in my inventory as possible. And there we go. That's another one. Another 400k XP drop. Actually hit 25 mil Slayer doing this. I'm already over 26.5 mil. But for 15 fight caves, is a 250 point task, and for 30 fight caves, is a 250 point task. So eventually, I have to get 30 of these kills. So whenever I'm feeling tired or brain dead, I'm just coming here and I can pretty much AFK. I just have to restore up and SGS up whenever I see any of these two get lower. And then obviously, for Jad, I just come back, switch prayers a little. And yeah, it's very, very nice. And we're just going to be AFKing our 30 tasks like that. So yeah, let's get back to Barrows, I think. Procrastinating in barrels a little bit and I do have a couple bars in the bank so I am just making those right now and that just made me 87 smithing three more levels and that is a Varax helm very nice we don't have any other Varax pieces however but it doesn't really matter we need to get completion eventually Aram's hood I think I already have that I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure I already have that Carol's coif okay and a Darok's great axe wow there's a double chest I don't even realize that I think I have a lot of Carol's pieces now I'm not sure let me go check Okay, yeah, if I get the Carol's top, I'm done, but I mean, it's very unlikely I get it, so we'll see. Verax Helm, we've already got one of those. And that is 94 Fletchin just from doing Barrows, bro. I actually am an EHP nerd myself, huh? Torax Plate Legs, there we go. Aram's Robe Skirt, we really need that for Tob and Torax Plate Legs, that's nice, but the Aram's Robe Skirt is really good. Carol's Coif again, damn, I just need the, 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 what's it called, the leather skirt, the leather skirt, the leather body, whatever it's called. 
Varax plate skirt. Okay, there we go. That's another Darox helm, dude. Third duplicate. Gothin's helm. Dude, I just got Torax plate legs and Darox helm in the same fucking chest, bro. I just need a K top for my uh, completed set. Oh, I didn't even record that. I didn't even record. I just got another Kaos crossbow. That's like my third or second one? I have no clue. Just got 95 Fletcher, man. This shit is free. Arm staff. Not bad. That was bad, actually. I don't know why I said that. That has no use to me. Grab me. Yeah, I guess. I just got a Darox plate body. Um, do I have the Darox full set? I don't think so. Torax helm again. Darox great axe. Oh, I've already got that, dude. I just got so excited for no reason. Alright, I ran out of shit to flitch, so I'm high alking right now for no XP waste, and I just got 96 mage. Guffin's War Spear. Interesting. I don't have that, but I still don't think that completes a set, to be honest. Aram's Robe Skirt again, bro. I've got four complete sets apart from one item, and I've just got a duplicate Aram's Robe Skirt, bro. Life is not good right now. Carol's Crossbow again! No! No! Guffin's Plate Body. Another duplicate. 132 kill count. Maz completed his set in 74 kill count. DH Helm, another duplicate. This is not going well. We've been here for like six hours now. Tarox Helm! I, I don't know what the else to expect at this point. Guthin's Chain Skirt, that's the last piece I needed. Let's fucking go! 149 KC, I've got a full set now. I don't think it works like that. Oh, it does work like that. Oh no, it doesn't. That's equip any full Barra's Armor set, that's 100 points. I need to open the chest after actually doing it to complete the diary thing. Okay, and that's one task done. Now I just need to go loot another chest with this set on. And this should be the task completed, giving us 250 points, as well as completing the Mauritania Elite Diary. There we go. Congratulations, yep, 250 points, and I go speak for my reward. Nice, I'm on 39.2k now, and the climb is gonna start. Alright, that gives us more Tania Legs 4 and this Antique Lamp, which we're gonna dump on Smithing because we need that for more Diaries. That puts us to, what, 89 Smithing. Just one more level and we can do a bunch more Diaries. Okay, this is another task and another Diary done. Should be... I'm not actually sure how many points this is. Only 50 points for the Medium Candor and Diary, and it's another Diary completed. Okay, I'm gonna use this on Smithing. I'm not sure if this gets us to level. I feel like it should. Yes, that gets us to 90 Smithing. Very, very nice. Okay, and that is the hard Candor and Diary completed. Okay, we just got our beloved Chewed Bones, which means we can finish Candor and Elite, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I don't have 85 Fire Making, so I should probably get that real quick. Okay, and this is 85 Fire Making. Let's go finish up that task. Just got myself 93 Farming. I'm aware I'm meant to be doing the Candor and thing right now, but I just checked this Magic Tree and it got me 93 Farming. Okay, and I got a prayer mix from that, but that is the elite task done for Candor and all, and that is 250 points right there. Very, very nice. Get ourselves another antique lamp real quick, which we're now going to use on smithing as well. We're pretty much dumping everything into smithing, as I figured out, is the worst skill to train. Um, that puts us to... Okay, no, we're still at 90 smithing. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. That's the medium or the hard one. This is the elite one that should get us levels. Yep, 91 smithing. I'm very close to 92 as well. All right, and that should be 500 points from doing the Ardone Agility course and finishing the Elite Ardone Diary, putting me up to 40,170 points. You like that little 500 points in one go? Because I do. And this is the Faldor Elite Diary done, which is another 250 points. There we go. And that is the Lumbridge Elite Diary done as well, which is another 250 points, 40,670. Okay, and this should be the Karamja Elite Diary done, which is another in 250 points for us. Am I correct? Yes, I am. That gets me to 4,920. Did her? Yes. And that's a raw summer pie. Use it on a range. That's a normal summer pie. And that is the Varrock Elite Diaries done. And that puts me over 41,000 points for the first time in this league. That is 94 farming. We have 99, probably even 25 mil banks. So I just kind of do these farm runs whenever I can be bothered. There's 500 points just waiting for me there. And this is going to be 95 farming after checking the health of all these things. Some more fat 250k XP drops coming in. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. 95 farming right there. Herbivore is some of the best points in the game. And I just received a Torstal, which is 250 points. Uh, when I get 100 Herbivore, that's two, another 250 points. 250 Herbivore is another 250 points. 500 as well, as well as 99 Hunter, which I'm going to get from Herbivore. So it's pretty OP. Okay, and this is going to be our 15th Jad kill right here, which is going to be another 250 points. A very nice and easy AFK-able 250 points. Didn't even know that AFKing the fight case was a thing, to be honest. Let's not die there. 
And I think we're chilling. We honestly just power through the healers. It's not a big deal. I am hitting threes, which isn't the best. But there we go. And that is 250 points for completing the 5Ks 15 times. We do have to do 15 more of these, but I can't be bothered right now even to AFK them. We're going to move on to some other stuff. Let's go. We finally got the Ballista Limbs, which means we can make the Heavy Ballista when we get to the bank. That is 250 points right there. And when we finish up these 750 kills, that's another 250 uh, points. So that's another 500 points we're going to be gaining going up to 42k once we finish these 750 kills. And that is 750 Demonic Gorillas done. We only have 12 more of these to do, so I'm just going to finish up the task anyway because I have to get 1250 eventually. Eventually, but that's another 250 points. <laughs> we got another heavy frame. And after just over 750 demonic gorilla kills, this is what we have. Five ballista springs, six heavy frames, two monkey tails, and only one ballista limb. Now, I don't actually know how to make this, so I'm just gonna click around until... Uh, maybe it's like that? Like that? And like that. I think that is a heavy ballista, and that gives us another 250 points, putting us over 42,000 points. Alright, so I've been having to get 95 agility for base level 95, so eventually I need to get 99 as well, obviously. Now, there is a master task to do 2,000 laps of the Apatol agility course, and I've done 425 just training it up here and there. And I think I actually get some points for just uh, wearing these as different things. Let me see. I think if I make it a Kramja monkey and then wear it, that is 50 points. And I feel like I should have gotten some points for the zombie monkey, but maybe not. Anyway, we'll get back to that later. Okay, and surprisingly enough, something I haven't done yet is equip a full adamant set because it took me so long to get the plate legs, but that's another 50 points there. Something I haven't even done yet is get the full obsidian armor set, which is another 100 points. Now, the obsidian helm is actually pretty good, but I'm going to sell the rest back just for toggle whenever I need it. All right, we're back on our EHP shit. We're doing Herbie right now because it's a literal mad points. Just got ourselves 87 Hunter, and we're also doing Fletching at the same time. We are 95 Fletching. I'm hoping to get that to 99 as we get our Hunter to 99 as well. Okay, and that is 96 Fletching. We're also 88 Herblor. 88 Herblor, 88 Hunter. I'm a little bit delusional, not gonna lie, but yeah, we're just gonna be getting these two up. I think we should be able to get 99 Fletching as we train our Herblor, uh, our Hunter up. Just doing some Herbie, and I see this guy with a fucking Ellie, bro. What the hell? That's 97 Fletching. Two more levels, two more levels. That is 90 Hunter. 92 Hunter, halfway to 99, pretty much. I need to go get some more Arashoffs. That's 92 Herblor. I think I got that straight from Herbivore, so that's pretty nice. 98 Fletchin, one more level for 99. This is very, very efficient. I'm actually quite proud of myself. I might be entering, I don't know, some skilling competitions, going for top page. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. And that is catching a Herbivore 100 times, which is 250 points, putting us up to 42.6k. When we hit 99 Fletching, that's 42.9k or something. I don't know how my maths is. 250 Herbivore, 500 Herbivore, even more points. We're really raking them in now. Okay, so I'm at 98 Fletching. I'm pretty sure I'm like 16k XP off, so I'm just gonna go back and get that real quick. I don't have any more arrow shafts or feathers or arrow tips. I can go get them all, but I'm just lazy. I can't be bothered. So instead, I'm gonna get out some gnats and start training the mage as well after getting 99. I do need to get 25 mil Fletching eventually, and it would be really good to do here. I probably should do it, but I'm gonna just delay it a little bit more. I can do Fletching whenever, to be honest. It is just a good thing to do here, but yeah. And that is 99 Fletching, another 250 points. I'm now at 42,870. 96 Hunter, not bad. I think we're about to hit 97 Mage too. That is 97 Magic too. We're 30 levels away from 2.2k total. <laughs> I'm watching Per prepare for the Inferno. I didn't even realize. I just got myself 99 Hunter, which puts me over 43k points. We really did fly today. Very, very nice. We still need to do a lot more uh, Herbivore though. We need to get 500, I think, to get all the points. All right, quick bit of farming XP while we're here at the Herbie. I think this should get me to 96, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I just got a Hespori Seed. Very useless, but 96 farming. Very, very nice. Let's get back to Herbie. All right, and this is going to be my 250 Herbie board, which is going to be another 250 points. Not going to lie, there's been a couple times where I've forgotten to harvest it, and it doesn't actually count towards the KC. So it is a bit of a rip, but that is 250 points. I do need to do another 250, but I want to AFK a little bit and watch my friend do the Inferno. So I'm actually going to make my way to Kraken, because if I kill like 200 more of those, that's another 250 points. And if I get myself 99 Mage, that's another 250 points as well. So it's efficiency. Trust. All right, that's 98 magic here. One more level, and that's another 250 points. Just got the pet Kraken, dude. That's my third pet. That's my third pet on this league. I've got the Bandos pet, the Heron pet, and I just got the Kraken pet on 302 KC, bro. Oh my god. I'll take those. And that is another Trident of the Seas full drop, which basically just keeps me going here as much as possible. And I have a bunch of runes, and I have pretty much unlimited GP at this point anyway. Well, not unlimited. Construction's gonna be expensive as fuck. But a Trident drop is very nice, because I can just stay here forever. 
and that is another Kraken toss done. We are on 388 kill count. We're just going to get another toss real quick, and that should get us to 500 kill count, which is another 250 points. That is 99 mage here at the Kraken. I'm on 435 kill count, putting me up to 43,620 points. When I finish up this 500 Kraken, that's another 250 points. We are zooming. And that is another Kraken tentacle. We're stacking these up because once we get 10, we can complete a master task, which is 500 points. And I think not a whole lot of people are working on that right now, you know, until they see this video and copy me. Let's go, 497 kill count, another crack, and I think we've got four of these now, so six more and we can do that master task. I could have five, but I'm thinking four is the correct number. And that right there is 500 crack and kill count, which is another 250 points, putting me up to 43,870. Very, very nice. Okay, nice, the first spirit tree is healthy. That's what we like to see. 300k XP drop off of that as well. That is what we like to see. Let's go, the one on Port Serim live too. I didn't protect these because I don't know how, so I just tossed some Ultra Compost on it and it worked out. But this is another 250 points from traveling between one spirit tree to another, putting me over 44,000 points for the first time. 44,120. I think we climbed up like 5k points in today's video, if I'm not mistaken. So if I'm not mistaken, we started off this video at about 38,000 points and we've climbed up all the way to 44,000. So it's like 6K points in one video. Obviously that was like two to three days of progress of nonstop grinding. So that was a lot of work to get the video out for you guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new so you never miss a video and comment down below what you guys thought. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching.